Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Tutorial. So today, we will discuss on how to solve for the Pearson R. So, our topic this today is all about linear correlation coefficient. So that is to determine the strength of a linear relationship between the two variables. Statistician use a statistic called the linear correlation coefficient which is denoted by the variable r and is defined as follows so when we say correlation coefficients are computed and the most widely used measure of correlation is the pearson product moment correlation or that is what we call pearson r so pearson r so ito yung formula ng Pearson R or that is a linear correlation coefficient so that is R equals ito ito yung formula mataas so where X is the observed data for the independent variable and Y is the observed data for the dependent variable so that N is the value of sample size and this one symbol of summation so that is summation of X you need to add all the value of X and also this one, summation of y, summation of y values. And this one, summation of x squared, so that this the summation of the square of its value of x values. And also summation of y square of its value of y. So let's proceed. So ito yung uh, skater diagram it shows some skater diagram along with the type of linear correlation that exists between x and y variable so the closer the value of r is to 1 so the stronger the linear relationship between the variables so di muna natin ito i ano, let's proceed to on how to solve for the value of r so example a study was conducted to investigate the relationship existing between the grade in statistics so that is the value of x and the grade in computer so that is y that is y variable y computer subject a random sample of 10 computers the comp computer students rather in a certain college was taken and the data are follows so, wait lang. so student a 1 to 10 ito a b c 2 g so statistics ito yung grade nila student a 75 to 84 in computer 78 to 84 so is the question is is there a relationship between the performance of the students in statistics and computer subjects okay so we will use this formula in order to solve for the Pearson R first we need to complete this table ito yung solution natin so student A B C D E F G H I J so variable X and this is variable Y so, in order to find or to solve for the Pearson R, we need to uh, complete this table. So, let's go. Solve for this. Ink color. Black. Ito. So, when we see XY, ito. XY meaning you need to solve for, you need to multiply the value of X and the value of Y. So, 75 times 78, that is 5,000, ilagay natin dito, 850. Done. Then, 83 times 87, so that is 7,221. And, 80 times 78, that is 6,200. 40. Okay. So, on and so forth. So, this is 77 times 76. That is 5,852. 
Next, 8,188. Next, 6,318. Next, 8,188. Next, 86 times 89. 7,654. And 93 times 91 is 8,463. And last, that is 7,056. Then we will find the total sum. When we see summation, it is sum. So that is total sum of x and y. So that is, i-add lang natin lahat ito. I-add lang natin. Add. So total is, that is 71,030. That is the total sum of summation of x, x, y. Next, x squared. Tingnan natin formula dito sa taas. x squared. So meaning, you need to multiply the number by itself. So, x squared. So, lagyan lang natin ito ng squared. So, 75 times 75. So, that is 5,625. Next, 6,889. Next, 6,400. Next, 5,929 Next, 7,921 Next, 6,084 Ito ha, 78 times 78 Then 92 times 92 is uh, 8,464 And 86 times 86 That is 7,300 96 next 8,649 next 7,056 next y squared so ito naman ang y multiply natin by itself so 78 times 78 so that is 6,084 next 7,000 569 next 6084 next 5776 next 84464 next 65 or 6561 next 7921 Next, 7,921, and 8,281. And last, that is 84 times 84, so that is 7,056. Then, we will find the total sum. So, x squared, total sum nito is, i-add lang natin lahat ito. So, that is 70,000. 70,413 and this one i-add natin lahat ito and that is total is 71,707 tandaan ha so ang value of x ito and sample size is 10 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 10 so that is the sample size then, summation of x, i-add lang natin itong lahat, value ng x. So, that is 837. I-add natin ang value lahat ng y, that is summation of y, so that is 845. Next, we will substitute the value of d and the value of summation of x, summation of y, summation of xy, summation of x squared, summation of y squared to this formula. Okay, again, we will substitute the value of the variable here in the formula. So, R equals, so tingnan natin. So, ang N kanina ha, that is N equals 10. Ang i-identify natin. Summation of X equals 
summation of y equals 845 and summation of x y equals uh, 71,030 summation of x squared is 70,413 summation of y squared equals 71,717 so let's substitute the value of the variable here in the formula so equals so the value of n is 10 times summation of xy summation of xy that is 71,030 times or subtract summation of x is 837 times summation of y that is 800 45 over that is square root of tingnan natin okay n that is 10 then times summation of x squared tingnan natin formula summation of x squared so that is 70,413 subtract summation of x Summation of x, that is 837, then squared pa natin yan ito. Squared, then times value of n ulit, so that is 10 times summation of y squared. y squared, okay, summation of y squared, that is 71,717, subtract summation of y, Okay, 845 squared. Okay. Next, simplify equals. Okay. So, 10 times 71,030, that is, add lang 0. So, magiging, tama. Oh, wait lang. Wait lang. Erase mo lang ito. Okay, next. 10 times 71,030, add lang 0. So, that is 710,000. Okay, 300. Subtract, ito i-multiply natin. Multiply 837 times 845, that is... Ito. So that is 70, 707,265. Okay. Over square root of this one. Multiply natin. So that is 704,130. Okay. So, 104,130. Then, subtract. Ito. Huwag kalimutan lagyan. Ha? 837 squared. So, you need to multiply this one by itself. So, that is 700,569. Saan mo ko yan kinuha, sir? Ito, 837 times 837. The result is 700,000. 556 then times ito lagyan lang natin ng 0 171 subtract ito 845 times 845 that is 71,000 or 714,025 okay extend natin yun next equals Okay, so this one, 710,300, subtract 707,000, 
265 so that is 3060 or 35 okay, it's So that is 3,035 over square root of this one. Subtract natin. Ito, subtract natin. So the result is 3,561. Then this one, subtract natin. The result is 3,145 then equals 3,065 over square root of this one I multiply natin so 3,561 times 3,145 so that is 11,000 or 11 million 199,345 next ito equals 3,065 35 35 pala yan 65 mo ito Okay, so that is 35. This is 3, 5 over. Then using your scientific calculator, so square root of 11,199,345 is 3,346. Then, i-divide natin yan. Ito, i-divide natin. 3,035 divide 3,346.54. The result is 0.9069. Then, round off natin. So, that is 0 0.91. Or, 0 0.91. So, ito na yung value ng R natin. So, there exists a very positive relationship between the performance of the students in statistics and computer because the result is 0 0.91 closer to positive 1. So, there is a positive relationship between the two variables. Okay, that's all for today.